Hi everyone, it's GBGW Time with Andrea, and this is my first video after the new um, the new uh, mo release model thingy that they just did, whatever you call it, upgrade, update. And um, I'm not going to get into my the pros and cons of it, I'm not going to discuss anything about it. But this one, I wanted to do builder's training and give a training on this. Um, it's quite uh, involved, it takes a little bit of... of um, a little bit of time to get catch it so I am hoping to by teaching I'll be able to learn it better and then also be able to help other people because you know watching multiple videos and watching other people do things helps a lot so I've already done training a and training B and my um, yeah there's a whole lot of different things that you're gonna be wanting to watch out for but basically what the goal is is to build a gunpla that has the technique in this case the high fire it is a ten to, sorry a technique gunpla has high fire power tag and is a defender and this was power high fire power middle shooter and then we're going to go ahead and try training C and every time you get you get um, five of these a day so one two three four oops <laughs> um, four five and you get this you get seven times a week and the goal with this is basically to teach you how to build a gun plod that is powerful. And the problem is most people who are about my level and lower don't have a lot of really powerful parts. And so it's kind of, I'm not sure, I don't know. It's good, you know, it gives you something, it gamifies the game, and it's got a little bit of a gotcha. Um, this right here is a little bit of a gotcha aspect. It's kind of, it's like Wheel of Time. Or, sorry, Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> Wheel of Time. It's like Robert Jordan. <laughs> anyway, um, it's it's it goes it spins around and it lands on things randomly, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. But first off, let's go ahead and try see how this goes. So the way I'm doing this is, I mean, we need to go for speed Z on Outfighter. Let's set our Outfighter first. Things are already set to um, the way they were before. And we're going to use Psy because Psy is my most powerful outfighter. The goal is to get as high of a CPWR as possible. So outfighter and I get the check mark for outfighter. Now we need to go for speed and Z on us. So one thing that you can do is you can do a search for um, speed and you can go for the Z, Z on tag. And these should get me pretty good parts. I mean, dirt, you know, um, so this one actually should, I might be able to get higher on this one than I have in the past, but um, we'll just see how this goes. I'm just going to go ahead and pick as many gold parts as, po as possible and gold parts that are higher upgraded. I hate how long it takes to load. Goodness, thank goodness for the e freight. <laughs> so um, this might actually end up being my best, um, best one yet because I don't have very many high firepower parts, um, tags from the last one. And so it it didn't go super well, but let's go ahead and see how this goes. I'm just setting, just waiting for it to load. They're probably gonna say, "Sorry, it's been loading really slow." And yeah, one thing that you can do. Um, oops, I didn't need to do that. I'll go back into one thing you can do is um, um, we'll take the speed tag off. And actually, we'll take both tags off. We don't need them all. Um, you can swap out um, later parts for, uh, I mean, sorry. You can swap out like one of the word tags. You don't need more than five. So I've got six already. So I could swap out one of my higher powered ones, one of these higher ones up here for a lower one so that a future build can use it because you can only use each part once. And from what I understand, it's only once for the whole week. And so I'm using all my most powerful ones right now, which might or might not be the best idea. We will find out though. Let's see if there's anything else in here I can use. Um, we're going to go ahead and sort for higher level ones and... Look, I've already used that one. We'll go ahead and use a Shield Pell Rider um, because it does have a pretty nice CPWR. See, it's the best one I've got so far. And I'm going to get see if I can get this one to be high as, as possible. So, um, I, let's see. Should we go ahead and use the Atomic Bazooka? Um, whichever one gets us the highest. Yeah, the Atomic Bazooka is going to be it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I might end up regretting it later, but you know what? Um, let's just see how this gets, what this gets me. Um, actually, hold on. Okay, so technique, heavy armor, defender, power, heavy armor, middle shooter. So I'm going to remove 
the atomic bazooka because that is a very nice power one and we're not going to do a technique because I just saw that technique is required so we're going to go ahead and do the buster rifle so that does lower my CPWR a little bit but I don't think it's going to matter because I'm still above 300,000 so let's see what happens see look at that um, so this right here if you're above 10,000 CPWR, then you get 10. If you're above 100, oh, is that 1 million? I can't see how many dots that is. I think that's 100,000. If you're above a million CPWR, <laughs> if you're above 100,000, you get 20. If you're above 300,000, you get 30. And the times 10 is the bonus for being able to get all of those, I believe, from what I understand. So you can also do this. You're only given seven times that seven times a week. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because I don't know that I'm going to be able to get another 300,000 plus for the rest of the week. So that's going to get me some pretty nice part, um, pretty nice points. So 600 points. That's, that's pretty good because you need 500 to be able to take part in the, um, the exchange for Mark. So that's what this is right here. We're going to go ahead and do that. Actually, how about we finish doing all of this first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing the rest of these. I'm going to um, try to decide if you guys want to watch this or not. Um, let's go ahead and do it really quickly. So Defender, and we're going to do Defender and Confirm. Galio has already been used, so Dosle. And set this as Defender. That's annoying. How annoying that they made us do it twice. Okay, so we are looking for technique and heavy armor. And I am not going to have a whole lot of heavy armor tags. I don't think I even have many. I probably do have a few of them. But I'm not going to have a whole ton of them. So let's just see what we can find here. So technique and heavy armor. Dom, Dom Tropin. <laughs> We're going to leave that one blank for now. My Dom Tropin's not going to get me very much. Um... And the baby has joined me, and he wants my power cord. So i got to pull this all away from him really fast. There we go. He's going to make a mess. That's okay. Okay, so, yeah, this is going to be a really, really low one. Um, this is where things get interesting, where I'm going to have to get... Let's see what we've got. We've got technique almost, almost taken care of, and heavy armor almost taken care of. We just need... And he is shuffling through the, my papers. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go in here. I'm going to take off the technique tag and see if I can get... Nope, I can't. Okay, we'll just put the Dom Tropin in. He's not going to do as much, but we'll head, go ahead and do that. This is going to be really quite pathetic. Um, okay, so we're going to put the... We'll put the technique back on and remove the heavy armor. And look... And actually, do we have, we have all of them. Okay, that's good. Okay, so um, technique on this, we can go ahead and put this one in. Though let's see what we've got by way of heavy armor, actually. Because heavy armor is the harder one. So we're going to see if I can get um, anything else. I don't think there's anything else on that one. Nope. Is there anything else? Nope. I wish this were a little faster. Um, I know that they're trying to make it go faster. Um, actually, that one might be not bad. Yeah, we're going to use that one instead. Because if you notice this over here, so the CPWR does go up on that one. So even though it's a level one, it is a pink part. And it's a native pink part, which has, gives it a higher CPWR from the get-go. So let's see what else we can get here. Um, yeah, not not terribly great. Um so, um, so what I'm going to end up doing here, since I've got everything set, we're just going to go for high power again. Um, we'll take off, sorry, um, as, as high CPWR as possible. Let's see what we can find here. Um, we're going for technique. So, you know what, let's just, we're just going to throw it at it, right? Get us over above. I did not see technique as on the other things, so... Um, yeah, we'll go with this one right here and, um, double check again. I just want to make sure 
So technique power. So yeah, so power is where I'm going to use my bazooka. So let's go ahead and see where this gets me. I am above 175,000, but not above 300,000. I don't think I'm going to get there. So we are not going to use the, any of my boosts because I don't see the point, <laughs> honestly. Okay. So one more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I will show you how it comes out at the end. Well, that was totally awesome. We hit the um, turn over to the next day, halfway through me doing that. So um, yeah, that was really great. Um, so I wasn't able to finish setting up my fifth one for the day yesterday. I, that really sucks. It's one of the problems with them having it start. Um, you don't get a full 24 hours. It's like, you know, you get 12 hours, not even 12 hours. Um, oh, I guess 12 hours, but you know, half the Half of that I was sleeping. Anyway, so this is what I've got set up now. I've got Speed Federation and Outfighter. This is the very first one for this day. I've got 1,200 build points. I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, so I am figuring out that the goal for me, and that I'm going to be getting seeing that the goal for a lot of us is going to be to get that over 100,000, and that's probably the best we're going to hope for most weeks. So um, I am happy with that. I will go with that. We'll just, you know, get those 200 points and see how things go from there. Um, let's go ahead and check out what's going on over here. So exchange for Mark. So I know that in the tutorials they sent out there, they said they put it all for Gundam Unicorn, all of these as Gundam Unicorn. And the reason for that is because it's going to spin around and it's going to land on that. And supposedly you get a random part that I guess would be a Gundam unicorn type part, but I am not entirely sure, um, how that works for me. I'm not, so I've just put in a bunch of my favorite parts here and we're just going to see what happens. Okay. And I'm sure a bunch of you have experienced, explored this. So what happens when we do this? So it, you click start and it starts spinning around. And obviously I want to get another Gundam Artemis head. So we're going to click stop and it's not going to get there. Let's see what that does. Pell Rider, one star. Pell Rider mark. Okay, well, okay, okay. So I get it. So um, I'm going to be able to use that mark on this part right here, I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and do that again. Like I said, I've got some of my favorite parts here. Actually, let's swap this one out for... Um, what is a good chess piece? I'm going to go with a five star. Um, huh, I think the Akatsuki is probably going to be the best one. You guys can tell me if you think I'm right or wrong. Sword Strike's not too bad, but we'll just go with the, the Akatsuki. Um, Wing Gundam Zero, Atomic Bazooka. I don't have any Sokai parts for that. These are, you know, I've got a bunch of Sokai parts for these. Um, actually, um... The Banshee, the, no, the Banshee's a back, the Banshee, I have a, okay, I think I've got all my Sokai parts in here that are available. So we're just going to do all of these and go ahead and see what this gets us. So, Wing Gundam, oh man, if only, I don't know what the timing is going to be on this, so I just click stop whenever I think I should have it stop. <laughs> Atomic Bazooka. Gen Gundam GPOA. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that actually. Not enough build points. Okay. So what we go ahead and do with those, those little marks that I just got. So convert, we're not going to do anything here, but we're going to go ahead and go into my gunpla list and we're going to go to, um, which one we'll just equip actually what dude is this going to die? We don't want to mess up my event ones. Those are all my event ones. So let's go ahead and do put in my bazooka. We're going to do a default five star confirm, put in my bazooka. And just so that I can access it, I could have accessed it in other ways that would have been faster, but whatever. Okay. So, um, we should be able to set Mark here. So, Oh, here we go. Now about the marks, marks, let you boost your part parameters past their maximum value. Each mark parts got mark slots, which you can unlock by tuning the part up. The number one number of slots depends on the part and it's one mark per slot. Capiche? Once a mark set, you ain't getting it back. So take care where you use them. Overriding a mark will net mark overriding a mark will net. I, I just give me straight English. Okay. Overriding a mark will net you some build points though. Be smart. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set this one, I believe here. 
And so this makes my atomic bazooka go increase in, in um, um, strength right here. So we get the, the armor goes up and then the beam resistance and the shot attack and the physical resistance goes up. So let's go ahead and select set selected marks. And I am good with that complete. And that just brought my bazooka up quite a bit. That's pretty awesome. Holy crap, check out my shot attack now, 4,700. That is really awesome. It went up from 3,900. So current value, maximum value, and that's how high up it can get. So obviously this is gonna be really, really beneficial. What was the other part that got the mark? Was it the my Pell Rider shield? I believe that's what it was. And you guys can tell me if I was if I'm wrong or right. But let's go ahead and try. Oops, I hate that. Long press. Okay, set mark. Yes. So here we go. Armor gets my armor up to 960 and shot defense up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to focus on making my Sokai parts better. That's going to be my main goal with this. And oh my goodness, I freaking love that. That's really awesome. Ah, check that out. So current value, max value, and max value with Mark. Anyway, okay, so I want to hear what you guys think of this, the build builder's training. Um, if you have any questions or any requests for videos, go ahead and post below. I'm going to see exactly how much I can get out of this and then see how many of my um, Sokai parts I can level up. And I will talk to you all later. Oh yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and comment below with any questions or any comments. And if I miss anything, which I'm sure I did, this is the very first time um, we've had this builder's training out. So yeah, go ahead and comment below and I will talk to you later. Bye.